morning. Welcome to high school. We're here to welcome you, but also to talk about something serious. We're going to tell you the story of our friend Katie, how she moved here from Kenya, and how her dodgy decisions caused another girl to get hit by a bus. Actions and consequences. This painting I made will represent teenage female power. And this picture of George Michael is something I like to hold while I'm singing. <laughs> It's a cautionary tale of fear and lust and pride based on actual events where people die. No one died, but how far would you go to be popular and hot? Would you resist temptation? No, you would not. Just admit it sometimes. Mean is what you are. Mean is easier than nice. And the mean can take you far. Maybe this will make you think twice. Kick quite out, Fossey. This is a cautionary tale about corruption and betrayal and getting hit by a bus. Can my integrity as a ball not for sale? Nice. Thank you. This is a cautionary tale. Our story begins across the globe in Africa. Africa. I'm 16, living in paradise with just animals for friends. But today, my life in Kenya ends. Don't be sad, we knew this was coming and life often has good vibes. You're killers, but I'm gonna miss you guys. Somewhere out there is a different kind of pride. Preferably one that won't eat me if I died. Human kids who might even walk upright. We'll talk about dreams and boys and life and not kill everything inside. Everybody else is happy Everybody else has friends And they're better friends than yours It's a very recent feeling But it's running through my body And it roars It roars I'm a bar. long ride to Jomo Kenyatta I'm so sorry I had to take this new job It breaks my heart taking you away from the only home you've ever known Mom, it's okay Politically unstable and everyone's on opioids. Mommy, I'm not afraid. I'm a fearless girl. You ready? So ready.
Attention, please. Make. Everyone, we have a new student joining us today. She just moved here from uh, Arkansas. Africa. Africa. Everybody welcome Caddy. It's Katie. Katie? My apologies. I don't do well with these modern names. In my day, you were either named Lisa or Keith. That was it. And now I have a nephew named Dragon. I mean, why? Maybe introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Katie Heron. Okay! Katie, hi, I'm Mrs. Norbury. I'll be your homeroom teacher. Here's your roster. I see you also have an AP calculus. You must have had excellent teachers at your old school. Oh, I was homeschooled. Homeschooled? That's a fun way to steal money from my union. <laughs> right, no. Um, my parents are biologists and we've been living in Kenya. But yeah, I love calculus. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. And I've been married twice. Okay, think you follow the schedule? I think so. Well, don't be shy. This can be overwhelming for a homeschooled student. You're gonna be moving from class to class with each... This is first period, American literature. My name's Miss Buck. You don't want to sit there. Blanche Schweitzer saves that seat for her boyfriend. Could I just sit there today? Not unless you're gonna tickle my back, freak. Nous sois et sons, nous nous français. Katie, comment tu t'appelles? Je m'appelle Katie. On correct. Pick your French name. The French people I know just call me Katie. Just say Marie. 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 Janice. Janice. Chanel. Ch no. Fontaine. No. Lady Gaga. No. Welcome to Human Health and Sexuality. This fall we're going to be doing the state required unit on abstinence and in the fall we do self-esteem and choking. Where do you think you're going, Hotshot? I need to urinate. No way, Jose. It's Katie. Well, first you got to ask permission. May I please use the lavatory pass? Nice try. You can go at lunch. I'm 16, just like everyone here, but I'm not like everyone here. It's clear, it's gonna be a rough year. They have codes, social signifiers that they all seem to get, but not me, not yet. Did you ever get a feeling? Expectations need adjusting. I'm not quitting, I'm regrouping. I'll just sit and eat my sandwich. And tomorrow I'll find friends who hear the call, the same call, the need to belong that roars within us all. You've been in there a very long time. You're either doing drugs or very constipated from doing drugs. No, I... Hi, I'm Janice. And Gemma Pelisasha Fears. This is Damien. He's almost too gay to function. I'm Katie. Well, Katie, as junior co-chair of the Student Activities Committee and his art freak, we volunteer to be your starter companion so you find your place at North Shore. What he's saying is, we'll help you, Caddy. Thank you so much, but... It's Katie. Yeah, I'm gonna call you Caddy. When did you move here? Three days ago. Why'd you stop being homeschooled? I wanted to get socialized. Oh, you'll get socialized, all right? A little slice like you. Hey, you're not supposed to be in here. Danny DeVito, I love your work. Okay, Caddy, 
I once read on a tote bag that everything fits somewhere. So let's get out there and pick your new life. My mama used to tell me, baby girl, don't ever eat lunch on the john. Your mother called you baby Sing. girl. <laughs> so what if all the ducklings think you're ugly? It's because they've never seen a swan. It takes all kinds of people who need people. So find people you can bear. Go find your group, your herd, your flock. Come take a walk and answer my small questionnaire, which I'll sing to you. Ah, ah, ah. Where do you belong? Where do you belong? Where do you belong? Where do you belong? You'll be judged on sight and made to fit. So find a click and stick with it. Say, where do you belong? Let's take a walk around the cafeteria, shall we? I'll show you the world as I see it. Fussy jobs and GV jobs. We'll throw you in a locker if you say hello. The rich stoners hate the gangsta whites, though they're all smoking the same oregano. Here's the sexually active band geeks. I've got two words for you, I'm for sure and ew. And if you like marching with tromboners, back me up, show choir. That's where we go. It's stifling, but at least you know. So, where do you belong? There's girls that eat their feelings and girls who don't eat. I like eating birthday cake around the mix. I'm crazy. And if they don't win, their parents ground them. What's that? Darling, that's the math leads. Cool! Joining them is social suicide. It's all college applications and Doctor Who quotations. They wear their awkwardness with stubborn pride. This is my damn break. Where you belong? Where you belong? Where you belong? Where do you belong? You'll be judged on sight. At this table, why it's Janice and Damien too. We're not exactly, exactly joiners, joiners, but we'll be good friends to you. And our friendship means you can skip the the strivers and survivors just waiting for June. The junior achievers, the saw plowing, wall plowing, bending off steamers. Forget this buzz and solve it.
and just don't. We call those three the plastics. They're shiny, fake, and hard. They play their little mind games all around the schoolyard. They might insult your clothing or make fun of your name. Like they mocked Jen Moorcock till she burst into flame. And Miss Moorcock was a teacher. Regina George is Queen Bee. She's always dressed up. She always wins spring fling queen. We're just drones who work for her, then die. My name is Regina George, and I am a massive deal. Fear me, love me, stand and stare at me, and these. These are real. I am like drunk with power. This whole school comes to my leg like a chihuahua. I'm the biggest poison you've ever seen. I never went. That's why her hair is so big. It's full of secrets. Yes, Regina, no Regina. Every waking hour, I spend making sure Regina. George can stay in power. If Regina is the sun, then I'm a disco ball, cause I'm just as bright and fun. If you bet I'll go home, I worm your secrets out of now and bring them to my master. Princess Jesus. That's Karen Smith, the dumbest person you will ever meet. I once saw her put a D in the word orange. My name is Karen. My hair is shiny. My teeth are perfect. My skirt is tiny. It barely covers my perky high. That's it. What? Why don't I know you? I'm new here. I used to be homeschooled. Wait, what? I just moved here from Africa. Shut up. Shut up! <laughs> I, I didn't say anything. You're like really pretty. Thanks. So you agree? You think you're really pretty? Oh, I don't know. Oh my god, I love your bracelet. Where'd you get it? My mom made it. <laughs> it's so fetch. What is fetch? It's like sling. From England. <laughs> Have you ever touched a tiger before? No, those are mostly in India. Because <laughs> that's one of my life goals. To not touch a tiger. <laughs> Hey, new girl, you want to see a trick? I can guess any girl's bra size. All you got to do Ew, is... Jason. <laughs> and do me. <laughs> oh my god, Jason, stop skeezing on the new girl. No one here thinks you're funny and your teeth look like corn. Also, this thing you're doing where you try to lower your voice when you talk, it's making people sad. Anyone like Jason W should go back to his normal voice. Please, raise your hand. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> Wow, you're really gonna get noticed around here. We should help you. Can you give us some privacy? Right. We never really do this, but how do you like to have lunch with us? We oh, it's okay. No, no need for you to thank us, but there's no need to even speak. You're new and you don't know things. You need a friend who can tell you See you here same time tomorrow On Wednesdays we wear pink Yes, Regina, no, Regina I have one Regina Or I spend my clothes for Regina I spend my clothes for Regina If Regina is fine Then I'm a disco ball Because I'm just a disco ball Wear something nice and grab a drink But we don't do this every day Stay 
want me to have lunch with them all week. <laughs> that is tits. She means that's great. But I already said I'd sit with you guys. Maybe we could all have lunch together. Never. No, not really an option. I don't know why you hate them so much. Regina seems kind of cool. Regina George is not cool. She's a scum sucking, fart mouth life ruiner. Janice hates Regina because Damon, really hates shall we not? Take their offer, Caddy, then come back and tell us every stupid little moron thing they say. Like, spy on them? Isn't that bad? Caddy, we're your friends. Would we ever tell you to do something bad? Okay, do you have a pink shirt I can borrow? Yes, what shade? Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Let me know if you're here. Aquino Sonia. Here. Coco Glenn? Yeah. Ganatra Carnapria. Word. Also, I'm going by Kevin this year. Great! Me too. Heron Katie. Here. Sorry, I'm late. Omen Shane. Here we need me, baby. Nope. Samuels Aaron. Uh, here. Hi, I'm Aaron. Me, Katie. Uh, are you new? I just moved here, so I could have human friends. Okay, let's dive in, friends. Chapter one, limits and their properties. What the heck are limits, you say? Well, if I write out this equation, the limit of x approaches two of x plus one. The function is what we're taking the limit of. Now, don't expect you to know yet. X equals three. <laughs> That's right, actually. Let's try another one. Find the value of k for which the following limit exists. For the limit to exist, we have to cancel. From the denominator. K equals negative three. Yes! Damn, girl. Wow, are you trying to make the rest of us feel dumb? I'm not trying to, it's just happening. <laughs> okay. Challenge accepted. I'm just gonna have to play at your level. Like how J.R. Smith got better when LeBron J- When I was five, I fell in love with this Peace Corps guy. I bared my soul beside the water hole, which made him laugh, which made me cry. Miss Snurbury is a little weird, but you get to like her eventually. Like snake meat! By thirteen, I gave a try. I decided I would be a mathematician Cause math is real I memorized a lot of pi Because addition and subtraction and division Would never make me feel so stupid with love Like I didn't get it I didn't get it somehow Smart with math but stupid with love I didn't get it I didn't get it till now. Do you have any eraser? I would love to. So thank you, Matt, for being there to bring me joy. And thank you, Matt, because now you brought me this cute boy. Is it two? Yes. He's like someone from TV. He's like that guy who gives out roses to those women. His clothes, his grooming. And he's a foot away from me With swoopy hair and shiny eyes That I could swim in He's live in the room And I'm stupid with love I wanna get it I wanna get it But how? Smart with math But stupid with love I wanna get it I didn't get it till now Two over, over zero, zero is undefined? Jinx! I'm astounded and nonplussed. I am filled with calculus. Does this guy work out? He must all sweaty at the gym. Could that image be more hot? Let me just enjoy that thought. School's rough, but now it's not. Cause now there's him. It's all so simple. Stupid with love. But I can get it. Look who finally found a way. 
love You wanna bet it? I can get it, just wait Universally linked with femininity. In India, men wear pink turbans to religious festivals. In Switzerland, they paint prison cells pink to keep the inmates calm, which is fun. But here in Western culture, pink is for girls and spies. You can only wear a tank top two days in a row, and you can only wear your hair in a ponytail once a week. So I guess you picked today, huh? <laughs> oh, also, we only wear sweats or track pants on Fridays. If you break any of these rules, you can't sit with us at lunch. Oh, not just you, like any of us. Like, if I were wearing sweatpants, I'd have to sit down there with the art freaks. That seems fair. 120 calories and 48 calories from fat. What percent is that? 48 into 120? <laughs> uh, there's no way of knowing. I am only eating foods with less than 30% calories from fat. It's 40%. 48 over 120 equals x over 100, and then you cross multiply and get the value of x. Whatever, I'm getting cheese fries. Yo, Africa! Those fractions were tight! I'm Kevin G, captain of the North Shore Mathletes. We're a very chill, dope crew. Also, Miss Nurberry says we'd get twice as much funding if we had a girl, so you should think about joining because we'd like to get jackets. Oh, You um, can't join mathletes. It's social suicide. Mathletes? Ew, no, why is he by our table? I can hear you, by the way. Can you hear me now? Hi. Take my card in case you change your mind. I also DJ and I design that font. Um, that's my landline, so my mom might answer in Italian. Peace! Damn, you are so lucky to have us guide you. Meet me after school. I'm gonna take you to the mall and buy you some shoes. What did she say? Did you see how she chewed up that boy to protect me? Yeah, she's rude. No, she's the apex predator. The what? The alpha. They're predators, but if you're on their good side, you've been a symbiotic or commensal Regina relationship. Regina George has no good side. It's like you said, Caddy. She's a predator. Don't be fooled by the pink. She is not playing dolls. She is stalking the halls for the thrill of the kill. Every person in school is aware of her stare. When she tosses her hair, they go perfectly still. All the rise say, don't attack me. Watch them sweat and pant and shake. Every food chain has its acne. Regina George eats steak. She's the queen of beasts. She can smell your fear in this biosphere. She's the apex predator, like a lioness, only with less fur. Do not mess with her. She's the apex predator. Regina George saved my life once, because one time at the Wiener Circle, I was choking on a hot dog, and she told me to stop choking, and I did. Everyone says Regina George is the prettiest girl at school, and I'm like, okay, when did we vote? Regina around, they tell us to be ourselves, they tell us the looks don't matter, and then we literally have a contest every year where we give Regina a crown. That's why I have to be high every day. More what? More shoes, more height, more style, more butt. Trust me, more is better. <laughs> shoes? Buy the shoes. Buy them, buy them. Buy them. Buy them. <laughs> At the watering hole, see 
like the girls who were nice Have to scatter like mice From a jungle cat And though Janice is great She does not have this power People literally power Janice can't do that See us mark our territory As I follow in her train I was victim, I was glory Now I shake my mane She's the queen of beasts And I'm in her pride I have hitched a ride With the apex predator it's kind of fun when she bears her claws When I'm safe because I'm with the Apex Predator <laughs> So, have you seen any guys you think are cute yet? There's this guy in my calculus class, Aaron Samuels <laughs> No! You can't! That's Regina's ex-boyfriend! He just broke up with her this summer! Uh, I thought she broke up with him for Shane Allman. Irregardless, ex-boyfriends are like off-limits to friends. It's like the rules of feminism. Don't worry, Carrie. I'll never tell Regina what you said. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Sorry? Did I think I'd be protected by my new exile? Not a chance if she suspected I was any kind of reproductive threat But she doesn't know yet She, she doesn't, doesn't know yet She's the queen of beasts At this beastly school Gotta keep things cool With the Apex Predator So I'm kind of friends that you're kind of prey Jesus, what a day With the apex predator Will she braid your hair? Will she eat your heart? How can you outsmart The apex predator Wow, your room is really nice. I know, right? It was my parents' room, but I made them trade me. Gretchen, move! Sorry. Ugh, my hips are so wide. I need to lose three pounds. My ankles look like dog ankles. <laughs> Rough! Um, I'm not sure what we're doing, but me too, I'm ugly too. <laughs> OMF, you guys are so busted. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. George. Uh, did you fly hot? It's coming through the garage. I didn't even hear you. Maybe that was on purpose. Well, who are you? We haven't had new meat in our little lady taco in so long. Mom! I'm Katie Heron. I just moved here. <laughs> From Africa. Oh, well, welcome, Katie. Welcome to America. Have you seen any guys you think are cute yet? Um, no. Well, it's only a matter of time. I always say this school district has the highest taxes for the hottest boys. So. Ew! Oh, Regina! You'll never guess what I found in the back of your closet. Why were you in my closet? Well, I was doing that Japanese organizing thing where you take a nap in a closet. Anyway, I found your burn book. <laughs> Katie, this was just the funniest thing they used to do. Mommy? Get out! You got it, baby. But I'll be right downstairs if you guys need to talk to me about anything, okay? Deep stuff, boy troubles, blackheads, alcohol poisoning. I've been through it all. I'm not a regular mom. I'm cool mom. At cool mom. 2,300 followers. Likes for likes. Hashtag belly tea. Hashtag ad. Mom, you don't say hashtag ad if no one is paying you. Oh. Oh, that reminds me, Regie. I think I accidentally Marco Poloed your dad's boss from the toilet again. Ow! Oh, okay. Well, you gals have so much fun. Enjoy your tiny butts, because it's all going to go. 
Oh my god, I haven't seen this burn book in forever. Check it out, Katie. We cut people's pictures from the yearbook and wrote comments. Trang Pack is a grotsky little biatch. <laughs> Still true. Don Schweitzer is a fat virgin. <laughs> Still half true. Janice Sarkeesian. Space less. <laughs> I forgot about that one. <laughs> oh my god, she's so weird. She is? She's in my homeroom. Well, watch out, because she's mental. People think she's good at art, but it's really because she had to do art therapy. Regina and Janice were like best friends in middle school. And then when I couldn't invite her to my 13th birthday, because my mom said I can only have six people, she went insane. Who's that? That's a Kadamian. Yeah, he's almost too gay to function. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that in like a bad way. No, that's funny. Put oh, that in there. Katie, don't worry. We only write stuff about randos in there. Friends are like very deserving of respect. Right, and she gets it. <sighs> Cameron, come with me. I want to change your eyebrows. Uh, can I still have two? Did you guys need me to come with? Or I could film it. <laughs> okay. So, are you having so much fun with us? Yeah. How long were Regina and Aaron a couple? All last year. Did Regina seem mad at me? I don't know. Is that the kind of girl he likes usually? Like with makeup and stuff? Yeah, she did seem mad at me, I think. It all started when I burped in the car. <laughs> but I'm talking too much. Let's talk about you. Are you a virgin? What? Well, you don't have to tell me, but just know I'm like very trustworthy. Karen's hooked up with like 11 people and I have never told anyone. That's good of you. <laughs> <laughs> They're laughing. What happened? What happened? That was funny. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> it's just sometimes I feel like an iPhone without a phone, without a case. Like, I know I'm worth a lot, and I have a lot of good functions, but at any moment I could just shatter. <laughs> Gina, let me in. I'm sorry about the car burp. Tell me what's wrong with me, my body, face, my hair. Tell me all my many faults. Tell me like you care when we both know you're cruel. And we both know you're right. I could listen to you like a fool all night. What's wrong with me? How we speak, how we dress. What's wrong with me? You keep me guessing. Mama called me beautiful. Don't her anymore. Now I'm listening to you. What do I do that for? Please don't ignore me. Hmm. Hmm. Tell me who we hate today and I will fall in line. Hug me while my shoulders tense and we'll pretend we're fine though we both Day. There'll be blood on the floor, but which one will betray the other more? I'm gonna go home now. <laughs> okay, fun. See you tomorrow. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Where is my mind? Where does it end? Maybe I need to find a better friend. What's wrong with me? What can I do? What's wrong with me? Could it be you? It's probably me. Say that you see. What's wrong with me? about the girls in our grade. What does it say about me? You're not in it. Are those jerks? What is this? Can I eat it? It's a calcine bar. 
My mom used to give them to the kids in Africa to help them gain weight. I can feel it working. We should grind those up and put them in Regina's food. No, Janice, I'll keep eating lunch with them. That's it. And so she did. Patty spent weeks pretending to like Regina. And for real liking Aaron in the safe space of AP Calculus. New shoes? <laughs> yeah, Regina bought them for me. Oh, I didn't know you guys were friends. Yeah, you just broke up with her last summer, right? Wow, is that all she's telling it? No, forget I said that. Homeschooled weirdos, sorry. No, it's fine. It's all on me. With her, I tried to be somebody cool. You're already cool. Uh, thanks. <laughs> That's love, I guess. You try hard to impress, but end up acting like a tool. I find the whole thing so frustrating. It sounds frustrating. So I'm swearing off of dating. Crap! I just get stupid with love. I just don't get it. I'll never get it. I just don't get it. Get it. Somehow. All I get is stupid with love I just don't get it I'll never get it You'll never get what? What? Um, this problem I don't get any of it It's a factorial You multiply it Oh, thanks You're so smart Don't sleep on that she just pretended to be dumb to get a boy to talk to her, and it worked. Because that stuff always works. Hey, I'm having a party at my friend Chris's this weekend. Want to come? Me? Yeah, it's a Halloween costume party. People get pretty into it. Gruel. I meant to say great, but then I started to say cool. Okay, gruel. I'd make it Halloween Every single day And also have world peace Wait, maybe world peace should be first World peace and then Halloween Wait, let me start over <laughs> If I could change the world, I'd make us have world peace and also Halloween every single day. On Halloween, you can pretend to be someone else. It's like the internet, only in person and with candy. It's a full-time gig, looking like what people want to see. Once a year, I'm not. I dress up engine big, disguised as someone else who is not me, but is still hot. I can be who I want to be and sexy. I can be who I want to be and hot. Don't like who you are, then hit that costume shop. Rock a new and different sexy look. Why be so down-hearted, blast some trashy pop? 
and drop it to this hot and sexy hook. I can be who I wanna be and sexy. I can be who I wanna be and hot. Be somebody new to a total transformation. Animal animal to or even vegetation. I give you sexy corn. sexy pirate or a sexy ballet dancer. I could be a sexy doctor and cure some sexy cancer. That's not right, is it? No. I can sexy cure some cancer. No. I can cure sex cancer. Sex cancer doesn't exist. <gasps> I did it. <laughs> So scary. It's Halloween. If you don't dress slutty, that's slut shimming us. Gretchen? Why did you invite Katie? We well, wanted to take her everywhere, you know. I didn't. And honestly, you shouldn't want her around. Because she's kind of off-brand cute. In the same way you are just fresher. <laughs> Thank you for your feedback. But she came here by herself because she's like totally obsessed with this guy from her math class or something. She likes a senior. That's a little confident. Who is it? Uh -huh. uh, hey, you made it. Wow, I like your costume. It's different from everybody else. I didn't know I was supposed to look. Oh, I'm such a weird foreign loser. Everyone feels like that whether the new kid. Like, I moved here like only two years ago. Well, that's not really true. I didn't move here. My mom lies about her address so that I can still go to the North Shore School District. Please don't tell anyone that. No, of course. Oh, how'd you do on the pop quiz today? Because I got an 85. I got 100. Things wrong. I think I need extra help. I could tutor you if you want. Thank you. That would be tits. Okay, then. It's a deal. I'll get you a drink. Wait right here. I know your secret. Secret? Gretchen told me you like Aaron Samuels. Gretchen, what? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't I know. I don't care. I think you guys would be a cute couple. Really? I just said so, don't be thirsty. I could talk to him for you if you want. You would do that? Nothing embarrassing, right? Duh. I have to talk to you. Me? I thought you were done talking to me last summer when you started talking to Shane. Don't be weird. Okay, so you're that Katie girl who just like decided to show up here tonight. She's not crashing. I invited her. No, 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 yeah, I know. She's like, be careful, because she has a huge crush on you. Really? Don't be gross. She's my friend, and she's really babyish and inexperienced and... <laughs> I didn't think this would be so hard for me. Just, just proud to me to break a heart like you did mine. Wait, what's happening? Yes, I look perfect. Ice queen, that's what you see. It's 
what they all expect from me. But it's a show. They say you use me. You saw the sexy clothes, my supermodel pose. What did you know? Was I against you? Was I a way to be cool? I truly care. Yes, I feel fine for you. It's fine to cool. Someone gets it. Someone gets it. Damien, she doesn't need to hear. Guys, I know the story. Regina couldn't invite you to her 13th birthday because she could only have six people. She said what? Oh, Regina is a hot liar. Damien! No, I must. What actually happened was Janet, Re Regina went up to Janice before school where no adult could see and was like, Janice, I can't invite you to my pool party because I think you're a lesbian. And I can't have a lesbian at my party. There's gonna be girls in their bathing suits. She just kept asking. I mean, are you a lesbian? What are you? What did Janice say? What could she? It wasn't even like a real question. It was just like an attempt to snatch her dignity or something. And she didn't know why her friend was doing this to her. So she just yelled, I'm a space alien and I have four butts. It was a bad choice, but she was 12. And by lunch, someone had Sharpie's space les on her locker. After that, it got really bad. No one would talk to her, and her parents had to pull her out of school for the rest of the year. It's not even true. I only have one butt. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Now you know, Caddy. Regina's were just not your friend. We are your friends. And we're gonna make her pay. Party. A revenge party, a party that ends with somebody's head on the spine. Whoa, whoa, it's a revenge party with your two best friends. It's like a party with 
revenge is what it's like. I've dreamed of this day for many years, but I never had it inside, man. I almost did once at summer camp, but I got nervous. First, we destroyed her hotness. But how? I know how. The calcium bars. Okay, for this to work, you're gonna have to pretend like you still like them. Can you do it? Watch me. so fat and disgusting. I use these calcium diet bars when I need to lose weight. I need to lose three pounds. How many calories from fat? Zero. You cross multiply X over a thousand and then divide by 0.5 cause it's kilograms. Bring me a whole box. Gretchen Wieners, bye. studying today? Yeah. Did you get the text I sent you? I don't know. 
I hate to be the one to tell you this, but regionals is chewing on you? Oh no! Autocorrect! Regina is cheating on you. In the... What is lion suit supposed to be? It's supposed to say lion suit. Why would you tell me this? Because you deserve to know. If you want to talk about it... No, I definitely don't. I gotta go home. Aaron! A few quizzes. Yeah, sorry. I'll try harder. If you want to come after school today, there's a mathletes meeting. I can't. I'm going over to my friend Regina's house. We're doing a dance in the winter talent show. Rocking around the pole? Yeah. How did you... It's like... A, what do you call it? A tradition? A recurring nightmare. All right, listen. I could probably get Kevin or Martin to tutor you. Oh, Aaron Samuels is tutoring me now, so... He's tutoring you? Okay, sure. Well, tell me the weird thing about all your quizzes is that all the work is right and just the answers are wrong. Huh. Huh? I am not going to stop pushing you, Katie, because I am a pusher and I know what you're smarter than this. Maybe I should push your seat away from errands. And then she was like, I'm a pusher. Wait, what does she mean she's a pusher? Like a drug pusher? I don't know. Maybe. Ugh. She's so weird. Let it all out, honey. Put it in the book. The skirt won't close, Katie. These canteen bars suck. No, you have to make sure you eat enough carbs to activate them. Stop playing with that stupid babyish book and help me find a safety pin. Be nice to her. She's very grouchy. Aaron just broke up with her. Karen, I can see your bra. <laughs> it's on purpose. I'm going for a look. Is it the girl who hooked up with 11 people? Because if it is, then you're nailing it. I think your top looks fetch. Gretchen, stop trying to make fetch happen. It is not going to happen! Wow. How much longer are you guys going to put up with this? Round of applause for the drama club's Mike T and Sarah, acting out a scene from the movie uh, Transformers. Really good transforming, guys. Now listen, I shouldn't have to remind you guys, this is a voluntary talent show, not a contest. So there should never be a reason for you to yell the word suck. I don't want to hear that again. All right, uh, our next act describes their music as like a sine wave, we don't stop. Please welcome Kevin G and the power of three. Oh, don't bring me no little flat white girl booty. <laughs> nope. Inappropriate. Kevin, we talked about this. Happy holidays, everybody. Let's keep our acts North Shore friendly, please. Also, if anyone finds a retainer in a bright aqua case, that is mine. Please return it. Okay. Please welcome, for the sixth year in a row in the school district, the Hot Elves doing Rockin' Around the Pole. to talk about the power of social media. Was it funny when Regina bent over and it looks like her butt ate her underwear? Yes, one million percent. Was it shocking that she stepped on Gretchen's face as she ran away? Not to me, but I still liked it. And why did Karen pretend to be asleep? Did she just panic? I think so. 
Now, we all know that harsh internet comments are hurtful and cause pain and blah, 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 we should stop. But what everybody forgets is that positive internet comments are worse because they create a false sense of love and admiration that are more addictive than opioids and Girl Scout thin mints combined. For example, OMG, Katie was the only one who kept dancing. Katie looks cute. Those other three are like my SAT words. Hard, porn, and I already forgot them. That Katie girl's authentic. Her Instagram is just pictures of lions and no selfies. She is I mean, even I would hit that. Katie Heron is like effortlessly perfect. I'd kill my whole family and eat glass for a hundred years to be that effortless. Follow, follow, follow. posted a picture of me and Katie in our Santa outfits and someone commented that we look like sisters. And I was like, hashtag what? <laughs> I like Katie. She's nice to me. I mean, honestly, I was at the worst thing at the talent show. Wait, is butter a carb? Yes. <laughs> Gretchen, move. I'm sorry, Regina. You can't stitch with us. <laughs> what? You're wearing sweatpants. It's Thursday. Whatever. Those rules aren't real. <gasps> they were real that day I wore a vest. Because that vest was disgusting. You can't sit with us. You can't sit with us. These sweatpants are all that fit me now. What do you think, Katie? <laughs> Katie? Sorry, Regina. Rules are rules. Sure, losers, it'll last longer. She left. She left. <sighs> Wait, who is my boss? Now Regina is gone. I'll wear what I want, which is what I have on.
exciting. Enjoy the cautionary tale. Good luck to Junior Janice Sarkeesian, who is a finalist in the Illinois Art Expo this Saturday. Go Lions! Even for art. Art, art, art. Secondly, the Student Activities Committee voted, and the theme of this year's Spring Fling was a tie between Circus Under the Sea and Elegance. So, we're just gonna buy balloons. And finally, the nominees for Spring Fling King and Queen are as follows. For King, Shane Oman, Glenn Coco, and Aaron Samuels. Okay. For Queen, Regina George, Karen, Karen Smith, Smith, and Gretchen Wieners. Same old, same old. And Caddy Heron. Did you set that up? No. Oh boy. Dan, did you do that? It wasn't me. As junior co-chair of the Student Activities Committee, I would never tamper with election materials. So, I'm really nominated? Or it's the Russians? <laughs> oh my god, so many people are texting me. Should I text Aaron and congratulate him? No. Because the last couple texts they sent, so he hasn't said. responded yet. I mean, he's been broken up with Regina for a month. Why hasn't he asked me out yet? I don't know, but I wish you'd keep talking about it. Hey, do you need a ride this weekend? Because Damien borrowed his grandmother's jazz. What? It's a motorized scooter. No, I mean ride to what? My art show. Did you not just hear Mr. Duval talking about it? Shoot, that's this weekend? I have to go to this thing in Madison with my parents. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you seem really sad about it. I have to post something about being nominated. Then you could tag Aaron and be like, you should go to get girl. Hey, what are you doing? Protecting you from yourself. Caddy, I did a paper on this. Our prefrontal cortex isn't fully formed until we're 25. It's why we're not allowed to rent cars, because we'll wreck them just to make a cool boomerang. Ironically, I need to scare you straight because this should not be how we roll. We get these ideas and we just can't wait, but there is a price you want to do slash have it all because you have no impulse control. So before you snap tag like or God forbid call, here is my advice. Stop when you send five texts and you get none back, so you want to send a six one. Stop. You gotta stop. Stop when your family in math cause you think it's more attractive to guys if you're stupid. Stop. Do better and stop. I know it's hard, but try ya. Uh, don't instantly gratify ya. Uh, my god, girl, he's just a guy ya. Uh, you really need to stop. Stop. You're gonna make a mess, and then who's gonna get the mop? This guy. When you talk and you talk till you can't get calm, it keeps coming out like horrid vomit. Stop. Eat a cracker and stop. Patty, we all make bad decisions sometimes. Damien. Tell her about Philip. At arts camp, I played Lumiere, and the beast and I had a thing. I'd run my fingers through his hair, well, beast, so fur. His second show was Anything Goes, and his co star was some female thing. And when they kissed, which, by the way, gross, I wanted to murder her, but no one told me. Stop stalking him and that Casey Cat, the girl who is playing Hope our court, of course, cause basic stop. I really had to stop. Stop posting comments on YouTube as for for people that heard the lovely was pitchy. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. I couldn't stop. He didn't stop. Cause when you feel attacked uh, that's a feeling, not a fact. Uh, don't jump online and react. Uh, you really need to stop. Stop picking at the emotionals in that you can't pop. For four whole weeks I trolled and dissed her, and then I found out she was his sister. Stop. Hashtag obsessed. Stop. And now he won't even talk to me, and he won't accept my edible arrangements. Damien, that's not going to happen to me. I'm not making bad choices. Tell that to your fake tutor. <gasps> I said it. Ladies, help my friend Caddy. What have you learned from your worst ideas? Oh. I know. Stop. When you think to yourself, should I get a tattoo of the 
Chinese word for wisdom, stop. <sighs> Check the spelling and stop. It means bucket. Stop. When you're babysitting kids and you make them go to bed so you can take their wrong socks, stop. Stick to vodka and stop. Stop. When you have a huge crush on a boy and he asks you to send nude pics and you're like, wow, he likes me. And so you send them, but don't crop your head off because you're only 13. And you don't know any better. And I guess his friend shared them because now you're all over a website called Amateur Teens. And now I only get naked with people in person. <laughs> and also, they should teach boys not to do that. <laughs> Stop, because I'm actually a human being. Bye, Karen. Bye. Good work, ladies. Let's take a break. A five, six, seven, eight. This weekend? It's Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, which it's like one, two, three, several days away. I have to go to this thing in Madison with my parents. Your parents are going away? You should have people over. No, I mean, I'm going with them. Yeah, but if we had people over, we could invite Aaron. I guess I could get out of it. Yeah. Uh, and we would keep it small, just like five or six people? Yeah. Sure. I can't go with you guys this weekend. I promised my friend Janice I'd go to her art show. Aww. But we have those tickets for a while. You love Neil deGrasse and Tyson. Mom, Janice is my best friend. Don't you want me to be a good friend? Don't you raise your voice at me, young lady. OK, OK, you, you can stay home. Hey, I'm having a small get-together at my house this weekend. My parents are going away, so... Is Regina going? No, do you think I'm an idiot? It's gonna be a few cool people and you better be one of them, biatch. <laughs> okay, I'll be there. Oh my gosh, I told you. I am so honored that I was able to hook this up for you. And if there is anything I can do in the coming days, clothes shopping, put self-tanner on your back, make a sexy but subtle playlist... Gretchen! I get it. What's wrong with me? Different thoughts, same old song. I try so hard. Is that what's wrong? It's like all I do is plan for joy I don't get to feel. I'm whoever you want. Is that my only hobby? Who am I really? You still exercising, baby? No. What does it look like I'm doing? 
Honey, I know you're not happy with your body right now, but remember, real beauty comes from the face. Don't ever talk to me about my body! God! Okay, uh, how about I make you a low-cal snack? I have some shrimp I can spray with that butter-flavored Pam. Mommy, I can't have shrimp. I am on an all-carb diet. Why won't you leave me alone? Because Katie's having a party. What? What? <laughs> Katie's having a party with Gretchen and Karen. I saw it on one of those many fake social media accounts that I have for your safety. Those sharks! Wait, well, F those bees. I mean, you are our own party. I can make some popcorn. Get out! Okay, before I go, I know your life is tough. I'm not an idiot. I know a lot of stuff. Like, honey, why are you eating a Caltein bar? Those are what we gave Nana Joanne when she needed to gain weight. Why couldn't it just be drugs? I try to give you love. I try to give you space. You roll your eyes so hard. They're gonna roll right off your face. What's wrong with me? Why are you mad? Why do we fight? Why can't I do anything right? Someday you'll have children too. And then, baby, wait and see. You'll be worshipped for years, and then she'll turn free. And everything's wrong with me. I could cry. Don't make me nervous. Yeah, have a shot to pregame. I don't drink. No, not like drinking, drinking. Just here, have a sip right of this bubblegum schnapps to calm yourself. I've got enough cheese and crackers for eight people. You think that's enough? Mm -hmm. uh. Whose house is this? It's my house. Hear about a party, here's the procedure Text all your friends, tell them where to meet you So you know nobody, that's not what counts It's somebody's house and they got no bouncer Tons of marijuana and Molly in the kind of hand Drinking from the neck of the bottle, what the heck We lit up like a torch, smoking on your porch Try to maintain while the neighbors complain Whose house is this? It's my house now Whose house is this? It's my house now Whose house is this? It's my house now Seriously, whose house is this? No one, Mama. Really, this is not. Really, that's a lot. Really, is that pot? Katie, take a shot. Shot, shot. really strong and why is Aaron taking so long and put that down it's not a bomb spinning on the stereo of somebody I barely know hey Katie Heron music flaring you seen Aaron no. you seen your toxic band freaks throwing all your antiques drink until we slur hence hope you got insurance it's, it's my, my house, house now it's my house now
smoking on your porch. Whose house is this? It's my house Costume. I mean your dress. Thanks! Your room is cool. Is that you riding an elephant? Oh my god, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> no, it's not. That's awesome. Sit down. I'm drinking not soda tonight. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. We should go downstairs. No, no, sit down. I'm amazing. Thanks for inviting me tonight. I spent too much time being pissed at Regina. Yeah, you really have. Uh, I've been meaning to ask you something. I read that the Maasai in Kenya... Yeah? I read that the Maasai don't celebrate their birthdays. They just become adults when they feel ready. That's true. Why did you read that? Uh, I was just uh, interested in Kenya for some reason. Do you miss it? No. I mean, I miss walking on ground that isn't pavement all day. You have to pay attention more and it makes you feel awake. My mom and I used to play a game where we close our eyes and name all the birds we could hear. We don't do that now, Pops. <laughs> I was alone a lot, mostly observing things like hyenas and migrations and who cares. Now I have all these friends, I'm never by myself. I mean, look at all those people downstairs. Uh -huh. More is always better, more people know my name. I have more shoes. More is always better, cause when you have less, you have more to lose. Wait, that's confusing. See, I don't mind alone. Sometimes alone is good. Cause time to think is in short supply. You haven't been alone. Try Kenya with one phone. Almost no people, just like animals in the sky. You know, I had more of stars. So many stars. Now. Plus, I'm always cold because the air conditioned air. No fairness, that could be how I dress now. Whatever. I look cuter. It worked, like pretending I needed a tutor. Pretending? Yeah, you're gonna laugh. I pretended to be bad at math to get you to talk to me. I'm actually really good at math. Now I'm failing. Well, that's stupid. Why didn't you just talk to me? Because of Regina. Because you were her property. Her property? No, shut up. Not property. Don't tell me to shut up. Oh my god, you're being so ridiculous right now. Just sit down and be hot. You're like a clone of Regina. What? No! And I am better, and no one likes you more, not anyone, not her. More is always better, don't look at me that way, what girl would you prefer? I would prefer the girl you were, not who you're trying to be. You think this works with me? Well, you thought wrong. Looking at this place, I see you trying to erase what is best about yourself just to belong. Aaron, I... You say more is always better, but there is less of you than there was before. So 
If more is always better Then you should have thought it through a bit I can't stop this jazzy. You know I have a curfew. This is your house. You could have invited whoever you wanted. You could have changed the way the world works and you decided not to. You would hate this party. Why? Aren't you having an amazing time with your amazing friends? Janice, I can't spend every minute with you. It's not my fault you're like in love with me or something. What? Oh no, she did not. <laughs> See, that's the thing with you plastics. You think everybody is in love with you, when actually, everybody hates you. You made me like this. It was your idea for me to pretend to be plastic. <laughs> Buddy, it's not pretend. You are as plastic as they come. You think your crap don't stink. You think the rest of us are dumb. I hate Regina's guts. But here's what you don't comprehend. At least she has the guts to not pretend to be my friend. Here, you can have this. It won a prize. Janice. No, it's fine. Really fine. Go be fine. And I want my pink shirt.
Damien Hubbard is too gay to function? That's only okay when I say that. Only Caddy could have written that. Regina is a funny cow. Regina is a funny cow. Can't you go take this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna watch the world burn. I'm gonna the gasoline. I'm gonna watch the world burn. I'm gonna watch the herself as a shady, chunked out, fugly cow. <laughs> Miss Smith, this is no laughing matter. I tried to make up a fight. One of them stabbed me in the leg with either an EpiPen or one of those pens that have five colors. Neither way, my heart is racing. Oh, hell no. I did not leave Southside for this. All junior girls report to the gymnasium immediately. Immediately! Never, ever, in my 14 years as an educator, have I seen such vicious behavior. And I used to teach computers at Joliet Penitentiary. I have half a mind to cancel your spring fling. But I'm not gonna do that, because we already paid the DJ. But I am taking this burn book very seriously. And I'm not, we're not leaving here until you're all somewhat nice to each other. I don't care how long it takes, I will keep you here all night. We're not allowed to keep them past four. I will keep you here until four. Now, who has something to say about this? Someone wrote in the book that I'm lying about being a virgin because I use super jumbo tampons, but it's not my fault I have a heavy flow in a wet Okay, yeah, Miss Norbury, I'm gonna need you to run this. I don't wanna talk to these jerks. They broke my glasses. I need to be able to tell parents that we fixed this. And frankly, you need to prove that whoever called you a drug pusher was only joking. Okay, odd shots. Who wrote this junk? Katie? Any ideas? No. Interesting. Can I just say, I don't think we have a click problem at the school. All of this happened because of a few bad have to participate in whatever this is because some of us are just victims in the situation. That's a good point. Let's get into that. Uh, everyone close your eyes. Okay, now raise your hand if you've ever had a friend say something bad about you behind your back. Open your eyes. Now close your eyes again, and this time, raise your hand if you've ever said something bad about a friend behind her back. Open your eyes. How about that? Maybe we should take a quick break from being victims in this situation and take responsibility for our own actions. Everyone, take a piece of paper. Let's go. We're going to write out some apologies to people we've hurt in our lives. Because one thing I know for sure, guys, is that calling someone ugly doesn't make you better looking. Calling someone stupid won't make you any smarter. And we have to stop beating each other up for every little thing. We as females 
have to be able to trust and support each other. Like this. Oh. Oh, my goodness, that was good. That was really good. That could have really backfired. Uh, your turn. Alyssa, I'm sorry I called you a gadget freak. It's not your fault you're so gadget. Sorry I laughed at you the time you got diarrhea on the Ferris wheel. <laughs> and I'm sorry for mentioning it now. And I'm sorry for the people who were below us. <laughs> So I have this friend who's a new student this year, and we convinced her it'd be fun to ruin Regina George's life. So we gave her these candy bars to make her gain weight, and we turned her best friends against her. Oh, and Katie, you know my friend Katie. She got Regina's boyfriend to dump her. But then Katie turned out to be just as phony and as selfish as Regina George. So my apologies to myself, because I should have known better. To your best friend screwed you over, acted nice when she not nice. Well, I have some advice, cause it's happened to me twice. Use my secret strategy, it always works because the world doesn't end, it just feels like it does. So raise your right finger and solemnly swear whatever they say about me. Us to join your game, I will say you make me mad. And if you treat me bad, I'll say you're bad. If I eat alone from this moment on, that's just what I'll do. Cause I'd rather be me. I'd rather be me. I'd rather be me than be with you. We're supposed to all be ladies and be nurturing and care. Is that really fair? Boys get to fight, we have to share. Here's the way that that turns out, we always understand how to slap someone down with our underhand. So here's my right finger to how girls should behave. Cause sometimes what's meant to break you makes you brave. So I will not act all innocent. Guys, let's just fight and then make up, not tell these lies. Let's call our damage even clean the slate to like new. It's a new life for me. But I'd rather be me. I'd rather be me than be with you. <laughs> I'll say no. no. Knock it off with your notes and your rules and your game. And those sickle fans who follow you will remember all their names. When they drag you down like they inevitably do. I will not laugh along with them and approve their palace too. Cause that's not me. I have plenty of opinions. 
Regina George died. Once again, no one died. I mean, technically, Regina did die for like 15 seconds, but then she was revived. And of course, social media started going insane. Miss Norbury's a drug pusher, and it's all a lie. Three weeks suspension, and you're banned from the spring fling. questions about all the violence that happened yesterday? Well, here's what nobody's going to tell you. Girls are made deranged by what's called hormones. Hormones. W. H. O. R. I'm voting for Regina George. She got hit by that bus. I'm voting for Katie Herring because she pushed her. Angry cat emoji. Poop emoji. Scream face emoji. Sad. Hey, are you mad at me? Not anymore. Thank you for letting me vent. I'd like to express myself through emojis because I am stupid. You're not stupid, Karen. <laughs> no, I am. I am feeling everything. Sometimes I think the only thing I understand is the rule of twos. The rule of twos? Is that a math thing? <laughs> a bikini emoji. No! Oh, uh, the rule of twos is how everything is really two things. Like how you were tricking us, but you still had fun with us. And when Regina was mean to me, it was because she was unhappy with herself. And how when Coach Carr tells me he has an open marriage that his wife probably doesn't know about. That's really smart, Karen. <laughs> And how getting suspended actually makes it easier because you can just hide from everybody. And when you come back tomorrow, it's going to be so much worse. So I'll still be your friend. Thanks, Karen. Caucasian thumbs up. You wanna buy some drugs? No, I'm just done with my quiz. Oh. I'll get it right now. Um, where's Aaron? Oh, he's not here anymore. Turns out he did live out of the district. He had to graduate as a homeschooler. You know, when the police tore apart my house looking for a mad narrow heroin, I found this old Catholic that I thought I'd lost. So totally worth it. I'm really sorry. 
Thank you. 100! Welcome back, nerd. Thanks. So, you're banned from Spring Fling, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Because I've just made it away for you to earn some extra credit. Yo, yo, mathletes! State championship, what? First female ever on the team, what? A box lunch will be provided, what? Let's do this. I haven't thought about math in months. Africa, 100s don't lie. Don't fight it. You got mad squills. Squills? It's a cool new way of saying skills. Hey, stop trying to make squills happen. It's never gonna happen. KD, you try the fast life. Embrace the math life. That's the first rhyme. Chill Martin Dayhom. Africa, we need you. Can you do it? Always could And not playing dumb Will feel so damn good The monster inside Needs to be released Gotta do what I do Gotta feed the beast Gotta earn some respect Grab that big grass ring Let's do this thing Let's do this thing you're gonna roll up style and leather on your sleeve All state champion, better believe Maybe the haters gonna make fun of you All you can solve the problem in front of you High school's a four year social curse But math's the foundation of the universe, universe. So stick a plug in that second string So let's Beep. do this thing Do this thing Do this thing No! I lead me that machine on a mission. I lost what I lost, but I'll start brand new. Go all in for the win with a chill to crew. Gotta kick up the dust. I got swells to bring. Swills. Let's do this thing. Let's, Let's do, do this thing. thing. The ICMT State Finals Math Championships. Sponsored by no one. Please solve for x equals two. Three and two pi. X is greater than the value of y. Well, polynomial is second and three, so the asymptote for that y equals three. The derivative of f at argument z. Negative four. Negative two. Solve for zero. The answer is true. A way of inflection. Twenty-nine. Four is the slope of the tangent line. How you feeling? Amazing. <laughs> you got. Thank you. Oh, Aaron, why? Miss Marbury asked me to help out since everyone else is at Springfield. And the same time we go to North Shore anymore. Aaron, I didn't write that stuff. Well, I'm sorry you have to be homeschooled. Yeah, so is my mom. <laughs> go get him. I like seeing you, Austin. Awesome. I haven't seen him in a while. Why are you doing this to me? Because I'm a pusher! And I know if you give your authentic self in front of Aaron, you'll be able to do it for the rest of your life. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a tie. In the event of a tie, we move on to a sudden one-on-one -on -one death round where each team may choose their opponent. Marymount, who do you select? We pick the girl. We pick the girl too. Miss Kraft and Miss Heron, please step forward. Nice to meet you. You're going down, slut. Contestants, find the limit to the equation. It's not me against you. It's North Shore versus Marymount. And I'm not here to be better than the one other girl. I'm here to be better than all of you. The limit is negative one. Shuck. I meant to say shoot, but then I almost that said... That answer is incorrect. If Miss Heron can answer correctly, then we have a winner. Why did you spend time insulting me? Why did I waste time judging your hair? This is not a competition! It kind of is, though. Right. A map one. If we break from this crap, then the answers land in our lap. Don't be scared, just persist. Then our
spring fling. I can't. I'm banned. I'll get you in. Everyone's afraid of me now. It is great. I just wanted to say. Yeah, I just. Up, 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 up. Don't make me wash this, guys. I'm your teacher. Mathletes, get inside before I get arrested again. <laughs> Regina, you look really pretty. I'm wearing a spinal halo. I'm sorry about the bus. I feel like it's all my fault. Stop trying to make everything about you. I'm the one who got hit by a bus. Well, I'm sorry about all the other stuff too. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna forgive you because I'm on a lot of pain medication right now. You know I died for like 15 seconds, right? Spoiler alert, heaven looks like a really nice hotel in Miami. <laughs> that must have been scary. When I woke up, all I can see was my mom's face and Gretchen's big face staring at me. Surprised. Not even sad, just surprised that I could be bleeding. That I could be a human person. I've actually been a human person this whole time. Yeah, it's weird when people treat you like you're famous or something. It's amazing. Until it's not. I know I have to change. I know I was harsh. I know that people call me a biatch, but you know what they're going to call me if I was a boy? Strong? Reginald. That was why my mom was going to call me if I was a boy. So honestly, I'd rather be a biatch. Well, I'm sorry if I took your spot in the food chain. Not your fault. Don't apologize for things that aren't your fault. And never apologize for being a boss. Okay, love you. Alright, do we have all our nominees for Spring Fling King and Queen up here on stage? I just want to say that you're all winners, and I could not be happier that the school year is finally ending. So, the winner of this year's Spring Fling is... Mr. Shane Oman! Yeah! My day and I are hooking up. Ew. The winner of Queen. Caddy Heron. What? Unbelievable. Wow. I think the only reason people voted for me is because they think I pushed someone in front of a bus. Which is terrible. Not your fault. Don't apologize for things that aren't your fault. No, I won't. But what I will apologize for is the way I treated my friend Janice. So I'm sorry. I lied to you and I left you out and if you don't want to be friends anymore, I understand. You know, it isn't really required of you to make a speech. I'm almost done, I promise. When I first moved here, I wanted you all to like me so bad. I thought I had to change myself to be good enough. We all do that sometimes, I think. But standing from up here, I wish you all could see it. You're awesome. Really, most people just take the crown and go. Crown, right here in this light. It could be platinum. Actually, it's kind of dumb. We could really just <gasps> what? share it. Cheap, fake. That's how I used to be. Here, take it. Now I'm awake. I'll tell you what I see. Plastic don't shine. Glitter don't shine. Rhinestones don't shine the way you do. You are so real. You are so rare. I see you there. I see you. I see stars. So many 
stars tonight You could make diamonds glow You are so beautiful I see stars You shine as bright as day I will look out for you We'll light each other's way You're all stars See, I went low, not high That was my problem, I Don't be frightened like me The darker the night, the brighter you shine Plastic don't shine Glitter don't shine Rhinestones don't shine the way you you are on fire, you can rise higher Up in the sky, enjoy the view You stars, so many stars tonight You could make diamond gold You are so beautiful I see is thus calling someone stupid won't make you any smarter. And even the people you hate are still people too. So, so get, get off their backs.